Welcome back to another Satisfactory Update 5 episode, and on this episode, it's time to focus on building some of our actual components. Now that we've pretty much handled the majority of the raw materials, it's time to actually get in and start building uh, all the various bits and pieces with these materials. we got a lot of different ingots here. We've got our iron, we've got our copper, we've got our steel, we've got our caterium, we've got our aluminum over there, we've got our plastic and rubber being dealt with, we've got our concrete over here. Now it's time to actually get making something with all of these components and that's the next phase that we're into on this episode. So sit back, relax, and let's jump into it. So we're going to start off with this uh, by focusing with our iron ingot deposits that we've got here. We've got all of the iron manufacturing is all set up right here. We're going to be taking the ingots that we're getting produced off of this and we're going to be working on our iron plate, our iron bars or, or the rods and screw manufacturing. So I'm thinking that's going to take up a big chunk of this first floor. So let's get started by getting a nice layout of a flooring area along here so that we've got some place to work with all of these iron ingots all right so the first and easiest bit of our iron ingot manufacturing that we needed to do was our iron plate manufacturing and we only needed 14 constructors to be able to manufacture the amount that we need we really only need about 270 iron plate and we are geared up here to be able to make 280 iron plate which leaves us a little bit of overflow. And of course, how I've got this rigged up again is we are feeding all of the iron plate that's gonna come down here. This line is the overflow line, which will be what is used wherever the iron plate is gonna be needed for manufacturing. And this is the priority line that fills our storage container here, which will end up outputting and uh, fill up this little label ramp that I have right here. So let us hook up this conveyor and let's get some of the iron plate flying through. I have done it again with all programmable splitters, um, mainly because, well, I've got them, why not use them? And so it's going to fill up these two constructors first. Once they're completely full, then it will filter on down. Of course, we have a line here of 780 iron ingots per minute which is totally fine uh, because the excess that's not being used off of this production line will get continued on into our iron, uh, I believe the iron rods is what I'm gonna be constructing next. And that's why I've got this overflow here where the items will come out on this side and then we will continue on with constructors for doing the iron rods. So uh we should be oh you know what i haven't finished putting together the output side on this so let's quickly slap together the output side of this so that these are all getting loaded to where they need to be okay why am i struggling with being able to fly in the air here i'm not being able to gain there we go we weren't getting to any height at all with our travels so first of all let's get this to line up properly so that we don't have any weird i like I like doing my conveyors with 90 degree bends and so we are just going to slap all of this together quickly merging all of these lines so that they're feeding into that storage container boom iron ingots are now flying or the iron plate is now flying into here for storage and as you can see we've got this little mark one conveyor that kind of just sinks into the ground that's labeling what is stored inside this container for us. So next is going to be the iron rod manufacturing. And then after that, we'll move into the iron screws. So um, yeah, let's continue on. All right, the phase two of our iron ingot manufacturing into components that we're gonna be using is now complete. We have iron rods are now being manufactured and we have them all being stored down at the end here. We have 30 constructors here, plus another 24 constructors here, giving us a total of 54 constructors, which is 810 iron rods per minute, all being stored in this double chest down here. Of course, it's already full. And um, yeah, so 
now it's a matter of working on getting our screw manufacturing in place. But, I mean, look already how much equipment it has taken to turn iron ingots into plate and iron rods. Like, this factory is already really starting to uh, not be overly efficient. <laughs> We're using tons of, of power and, you know, tons of... I, I mean, uh, not being efficient is, is the incorrect term. We are making exactly what we need to be making for our end game goal here. So we're just going to keep plugging away at this and um, keep grinding out each of these floors. The next section here that I will carve into is going to be our iron screw manufacturing. And um, yeah, let me just get a platform laid out with more constructors for making the iron screws. Well, after 54 constructors later and manufacturing 2160 screws per minute we have finished the screw manufacturing production line it's taking some time for it to all completely charge up and get filled up because uh this time i just used normal splitters on it because it was it would have been a lot of smart splitters to throw in here so it's taking a little bit longer to uh to fill up this entire system but i can't like the size of this, all of this is just constructors dealing with our iron ingots. So we've got our iron plate construction sitting right here, which is at this point is full and sitting in storage and ready for manufacturing for our next phase of items. And then we have our iron rod manufacturing, which follows up this way and is all of that there followed by our screw manufacturing, which is these 54 units of constructors right here. And that's making all of the screws that we're gonna need for our mega factory. All of the screws that are combined here will be used in the various manufacturing of items as we continue forward. Uh, obviously from here, we're gonna be, we've got a little bit more room that we can expand out this way on this level and then we'll be jumping up another level again for the next phase of manufacturing. So I think next that we're gonna be working on is probably our copper manufacturing. So we'll get our copper wire, our copper sheeting, and our cabling all manufactured out of this. But for now, I think this is where we're gonna call this episode. A little bit shorter episode this time. Uh, because the last one, I mean, of course, we were dealing with our aluminum manufacturing uh, that was happening over in that swamp area over there. And that was really quite a huge process where this one here ended up being just an absolute massive pile of constructors working on our iron ingots. So with that said, guys, please reach down, hit that subscribe button on the channel right now. It's about 9% of you are subscribed. 91% of you uh, that are watching my videos are not subscribed to the channel. So if you could click that subscribe, that'd be fantastic. Also ring that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload a new video. Uh, additionally, you could reach down, click that like button. Feel free to leave a comment on uh, what you're thinking on this series so far. Uh, I know that update six is coming and some of the areas that I built in are going to be replaced. But I'm planning on doing a full world re reset when update 6 does come. Uh, but I think still think we have a little bit of time. We'll get our mega factory done before update 6 ends up rolling out. And then it'll be really interesting to see kind of what happens here. Um, once the update rolls out, how much did the world upgrade change my factories and kind of break things? But... That said, guys, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at DWDC. We will catch you in the next one. See you later.